God wants to gather his children together to lead them into his kingdom. He wants his children to be one and to overcome their differences. And the place where they can overcome their differences is the church. And here we've got a problem in the today's society because in the today's society the people tend to insist on their differences. That strikes me. It's, it's incredible. More and more. Are you aware of this? Everyone wants to insist, I'm different from the others. I'm different. I belong to this group, to these people. I'm made this way. I do this way. I am different and you have to respect my difference. And you have to accept me because I'm different. And uh, because I'm different, I have this right and this thing and this. Okay, okay, okay. I just want the people. How do you want to build a society on division? Don't you recognize that the spirit, the only goal of the spirit is to divide and to divide more and more. And no wonder that it is just impossible to have unity in the society. No wonder that this society becomes more and more divided and selfish. Yeah, everything is made for the society to become this way. Shouldn't the people insist a little bit more on what they have in common instead of that on their differences? It's not my business. As a chief apostle, I'm not in charge, thanks God, of the society. <laughs> But, brothers and sisters, let us just think about what's the spirit behind all these things? The spirit of division. My dear brothers and sisters, we are children of God. God wants his family, his children, to be one. The place where they can overcome their differences is the church. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can overcome all these differences and be really one in Jesus Christ. And that's our goal.